now I will explain the step by step uh, this tutorial on the square cube and uh, I will also refer to the uh, the things we have learned uh, the, the fact we are using is the half o grid with the one path selected so we will use this option this one as our case is uh, has a shape like this uh, this blocking so we will use, use this option uh, now this is the geometry surfaces so first uh, first I will explain you the geometry operations so first of all uh, separate the part from uh, the separate separate different parts from the one single part so right click on the part and create part the first part we are we will be creating is the symmetry so symmetry and let these four faces turn off the points curves and the material point so this is our symmetry turn off this and then the sphere it's also created turn off the sphere as well and now fourth part uh, the third part is the cube so write down the cube over here with the left mouse button select all these faces total of 5 faces and uh, with the uh, uh, middle mouse button confirm the selection ok make the wireframe turn, the turn on the points uh, now we'll make the material point for the fluid where the mesh will be created select the points in such a way that the material point uh, shall be in the inside of the fluid domain like this ok uh, now we'll apply the some operations on the geometry that is the build topology although for this geometry the build topology is not necessary uh, but it will help you in creating the geometry entities like the curves and uh, points at the sharp interfaces and uh, also it will repair the geometry though this is not the case uh, for this tutorial but it will help you a lot in uh, repairing the geometry for the very complex cases so before going to the build topology uh, delete the all points uh, with this option so this option will select the all visible and the invisible points and make sure that the delete permanently is unchecked because in the later stage in the build topology uh, these geometric entities which will be converted to the dormant entities after deleting will be used for by the build topology for extracting the points and curves at the later stage so select this option all points are dele deleted and uh, similarly for the curves ok now we are done now go to the geometry options this is the repair geometry and the first one option is the build topology check on the filter points filter curves and uh, other default options now you can see that the curves are created at different places uh, which were not present at the uh, in the starting of the geometry so make the curves in the simple shape so turn on the show white also turn on the surfaces
you can see that the points also created at the sharp interfaces and as well as the curves are created okay now make the composite curve before that make the blocking go to blocking and the uh, part should be the fluid 3d bounding box apply so this is the bounding box which is uh, surrounding the uh, this whole geometry turn off the faces and the bodies and make the this circular the circular curve this which is uh, consisting of four parts into single curve uh, are the composite curve by this operation the group curves and all tangential the all curves which are tangent to the each other will be grouped into one curve apply now you can see the in the blue color the curves are merged into the one curve and you can you can ungroup uh, at the later stage if needed the benefit of uh, applying the group curve all tangent are tangential or uh, uh, selected or part by part the, the the benefit is that in the in the large database of the geometry where there are the hundred of curves and you want to apply the association of edges to the curves so in that case you may be selecting the hundred of curves for the one edge so when you apply the this operation uh, these all curves will be grouped into one curve and then you can easily select the uh, one curve to associate to the one edge now go to the association operation select four bottom uh, bottom edges and associate to the this bottom curve turn on surfaces and uh, scenario project vertices apply so uh, the blocking will take the shape of the this geometry like this okay uh, now we apply the awkward operation now observe one thing as I explained you in the uh, in the previous lectures uh, the face which will select uh, will not be creating the O grid. In other words, O grid will pass to the other side of the waveform block. So, uh, let's say in this case, we want to associate the geometry. Uh, we want to create the O block in such a way so that we can take care of the this cube. So, the cube from this side is hollow. So now we want to create the mesh in such a way that the O block is projecting on this side and moving to here and here and here. So we will create the half O gate with one face selected which is on the this flat surface on this uh, where the you, uh, you can see the uh, circular edge. So we will op choose this operation. So this will be on the upper side and this will be on the lower side of the sphere semi sphere so this block will project to the to the cube so we can easily associate the geometry so go to split block o block select this block select this face now see when you select the this face, the block on the other side of the in, into the warform block is also selected. Let's see.
like this so now you can see that uh, this is a one main block over here and uh, uh, the face which is selected on the bottom side the O block passes to the Waffen block like this and uh, and uh, the one block is uh, pointing towards the the cube so we will get the O block over here and the four O blocks on the other side I will repeat this procedure again let's see the main block turn on the Warform block like this so when you select this face uh, the blocks on the other side on the waffle is also selected so okay will pass from uh, the this block to the main block to the orphan block in, in this way okay so clear turn off the orphan blocks also turn off the blocks from here now we will adjust the blocking by associating to the points and the and the curves. Go to association uh, association options. Also turn on the points they are already turned on. Get the blocking in this control like this so we can work easily adjust the uh, vertices so that we can uh, capture the sharply the geometry this is necessary applying the boundary condition for the sum solvers as well as to as well as to capture the uh, this sharp geometry now things are okay now our blocking is now final uh, one more step there is uh, to change the material of the this block which is not uh, will be used in this case the block inside the cube this block now we need to change the material of this block or delete the block so it will move to the warp on so we will change the material name solid click over here and select two corners apply now you can see the color so by different color it is showing that the ma material is changed and now we can hide this so now this is our final blocking like this